Come, let us prepare ourselves to make some good profit this week. Now, in this video, I will tell you three things to look out for to prepare for a rally ahead. Now, this is no surprise. We were already prepared and ready for this two weeks ago. Now, if you have not watched that video two weeks ago, please do take some time to watch it. Now, we were looking out for the five day moving average to cross over. 20 day moving average. We were prepared for it since here, looking out for a strong support level. And this is reminiscent of what happened here when we had a strong support level supporting this crossover also during earnings season. And look at this rally here. Now, will anyone be able to guarantee you that we will have a rally ahead? And the answer is no but we must be able to identify early and be able to protect and prepare for the trade ahead. So please watch this video two weeks ago on how we were looking out for it and preparing for it. And if you have time, all the videos thereafter, as you see how we prepared for it step by step. Now, so much still falls upon what's ahead and we need to prepare ourselves for the catalyst events ahead, huge, huge events ahead of us. We have an incredible week of earnings coming up and this will make or break the potential rally ahead. All your mega caps are right here, right here, right here, right here. You have all your energy and so many in the S&P 500 right here, right here, right here. So get ready for a huge, huge week ahead of us. Now, this will lead us to the FOMC meeting on the 2nd of November. And one big reason why we had this large rally on Friday after the crossover happened was also because we have potential news of a Fed pivot that may be happening. So you see, big money has set the stage early on and already started buying way before that. Now, remember, I mentioned three things to look out for. So I will talk about it in terms of technical analysis. What are the three things we need to be paying attention to? Now, the first thing is that we must first break out of this range. We are currently still in this trading range of 380. Now, 380 is still part of the range. So as long as we don't break through this range, a rally is not confirmed yet. Now, very interestingly, this was the previous FOMC in September right here. So you will be very interested to note that we are pricing ourselves in back to the previous FOMC meeting when we break through this 380 range. Now, when this happens, it tells you that everything here that happened below 380 is already accepted by the market. And the question will be, will this be the bottom of the market? Now, that's a question I will not be talking about in this video, but just know that we are pricing in back to the previous FOMC minutes. I'm sorry, the FOMC meeting, and that will render whatever that's trading below here invalid because we're back to where we belong in terms of market sentiments. And that's if we break through this 380 range right here. So that's the first thing you need to pay attention to. Secondly, we have to pay attention to this candle that opens and closes on Monday right here. We need the candle to trade completely above the five day and the 20 day moving average. Now, when that happens, you have some certainty that the buyers have found some sort of support above the moving averages. So that's the second thing you want to pay attention to. So that we want to see on Monday, if it happens or within this week, especially with all the major and mega cap earnings this week. The third thing you have to pay attention to is the major constituent of SPY, which is the queues. Now you may notice something that the queues have yet to cross over the five day and the 20 day moving average. So until this happens, the SPY will not have a rally until this happens. And you will notice how coincidentally, most of the tech stocks here are having their earnings this week. So pay attention to this, and this will facilitate the crossover 
for the cues and so that's the third thing you have to pay attention and look out for now friday is not a fluke friday we had very very strong volume of about 130 million in an almost solid green candle and look at this it's just one buying channel all the way up now first things first on monday open you have to watch and see if we reject this level and trade back underneath orange 372. That's always the first thing you look out for, especially in a new week after Friday when we have a sprout out of the trading range. So first things first, look if this returns back under orange 372. And if we do have a rally that may be starting to help us break out of the range, you must always look out for a strong support level. So when we take a look at the charts, we want to be identifying all the major levels and whether they will form some sort of support level. Now you must be looking out for trend lines here, channels here, and the bottom of the channel will be that major support as well as look out for certain structures that may be forming. So pay attention to that. And we have some major levels here. I will be explaining that in part two on how and what we should be looking out for so that we can translate it into trade setups. So thank you very much for watching and Patreon members, I'll see you in part two of this video.